Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and the Vice President. <laughs> We're here today to, uh, to uh, honor two great teams out of the West, uh, the final two of the final fours, Stanford and the University of Nevada at Las Vegas, better known as the Cardinal and the Running Rebels. Well, to put it simply, both teams were awesome. And now we'll turn, uh, and now we'll turn to the UNLV. Uh, let me begin with a salute to the coach, uh, Coach Tarkanian. I'm not saying that Tark the Shark has any influence on me, but the next time I'm sweating out a close vote in the Congress, uh, don't be surprised if you see me, I'll try anything, chew on a towel. <laughs> towel or no towel. It was the opposition that was shark bitten, and of course we should give the Blue Devils their due. You are, after all, the first team to trip 100 in a final. Uh, Stacy Ogman, uh, Stacy Sionovic uh, and David Butler. You duked it out with Duke all the way, and David, you ought to feel at home today. Anderson Hunt, you kept the Blue Devils behind the Mason-Dixon line and made 12 of 16 to become the MVP of the Final Four. Congratulations. And then there's Moses. You know, the biblical Moses parted the waters with his staff. Uh, Moses Scurry could part the Potomac with his rebel yell. And Larry Johnson, no wonder you're the first team consensus All-American. In just half an hour, you racked up 22 points, 11 rebounds, four steals, and two trays. But what impresses me the most is that while you're a probable first choice, you made it clear that you'll go for the BA uh, before you go for the NBA. And Greg Anthony? Greg, I, Greg Anthony, I understand you suffered a broken jaw that had to be wired shut during the season, but you played through your pain. As vice chairman of the uh, this little political pitch here, uh, UNLV Young Republicans, I, I hope you'll be coming back to Washington someday. And thank you for telling the world that your first priority is education and that you may go on to get an MBA or a law degree. That message has the right kind of impact on kids all across our great country. And finally, let me congratulate every player in both teams, those of you on the bench as well as on the center court, and all the assistant coaches, managers, and trainers. This is your day. In closing, let me say we're here today to celebrate another kind of championship, the kind of satisfaction that comes not from a fast break or a slam dunk, but from the quiet achievement of scholarship and learning. And this is the commitment of so many, uh, from Greg and Larry to Tricia, who aspires to be a doctor, to Chris McMurdo with a 3.7 average in uh, human biology, to Stacy Parson, a social psych major who's said to be the team encyclopedia. Uh, this is the commitment of the Running Rebels for teaching grade schoolers basic reading skills in geography. In fact, I understand that you'll be making it uh, making at least one classroom visit here in D.C. where David Butler started his schooling at John F. Cook Elementary. And just look at your institutions. U.S. News and World Report identified UNLV as one of the up-and-coming schools of the 90s. Little wonder it's already one of the fastest growing universities in America. And of course, we're also familiar with the academic tradition of Stanford University. So whether you study amid the Moorish, arch, Moorish arches of Stanford uh, or in the modern complexes of UNLV, you're learning that when the cheering is faded and the trophy is up on the shelf, you still have something to give back. Once again, congratulations. I thank you, and uh, God bless you all. Keep up that quest for excellence and the achievement you've all demonstrated so well. We're just delighted you all were here. Nice to see you. You'd go ahead. Equal time. You want this or you don't need it? Do um, I'm fine. Thank you. Mr. President, on behalf of Stanford University and our entire team, we'd like to present to you an honorary letter winner's blanket and also thank you for your invitation and opportunity to meet with you and visit such an extraordinary place. Isn't thank you lovely. very much. We're glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this.
was reaching for my present before you took it away. Thank you all. Beautiful. If I had a horse, I could put it on here too. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. It's so lovely. Don't let him take it away now. <laughs> well, I think that. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Here we go. First of all, on behalf of the entire state of Nevada and the University of Nevada at Las Vegas, we'd like to present the president with a sweater and also a, an autographed basketball and a hat signifying the national championship season we in, uh, enjoyed this year and also to thank us, thank him for allowing us to come here and participate in this extravaganza this, today. We really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Fantastic. Good luck, Shay. Thanks a lot. Glad you're here. Are you getting this on film? Yeah. yeah, they're getting it over, there, over right here. This is hey, give me a number one finger. <laughs> you got it. Number one you got it. Yeah, be sure you use the right one. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I got a big head, man. You and LB fan now. <laughs> thank you. Well, this is thank you so much, all of you. Now let me at least uh, listen. You guys run for cover. I just want to thank them all for being here. Here, Tim. You like to see the famous hook shot? <laughs> That is uh, UNLV Athletic Director Brad Rothermel. The president is now talking to him. And in that red uh, backpack, we're told, are some books written by members of the UNLV faculty. And you can see the president is now making his way down the line, talking to each of the players and the coaches and shaking their hands. Everybody very excited there. <laughs> Greg Anthony again, the young Republican. And perhaps the best student on the team there, James Rice. Rather large basketball yes, team. The indeed. whole contingent is obviously yes, there. Indeed. And David Butler, who's in his hometown. Stacy, of course, checking the size yeah. on the jersey he gave to the president right there. I thought he was going to ask for an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Now, also in attendance at today's ceremony 